Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. So I was browsing the Facebooks. Yep, the Facebooks. And somebody posted that AMT is going to be, in the future, re-releasing a very vintage model kit. Now, I'm not sure if this is a rumor or 100% accurate, but let's hope that it's 100% accurate. So I actually have a little sneak peek for everybody on the model kit in question. What it is, is it's AMT's 1960 Ford F100 pickup truck. And I was gifted these instructions from the original, from like a 1960 kit, from one of the customers that used to visit Monster Hobbies when I had the brick and mortar store, of course, before we had to close that down and go strictly online. Uh, speaking of which, if you want to check out our model kits, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca and uh, actually if you click here, that'll take you right over there. And while you're there, click on the newsletter. You'll see it on the side of the screen. It looks like an old one of those old airmail envelopes. Click there, sign up for the newsletter because I am doing promotions which gets you actual discounts which will be really really cool and uh, when I send out the newsletter it's got the promotional code in there so you can use that on our website at the shopping cart to get some good discounts on model car kits so anyway how many of you are stoked for this thing to come out I know I am actually I'm always stoked when a new model comes out even if it's a reissue but this particular one has not really been reissued a lot so that makes it really really cool even though the molds in this are generations old like 1960 from 2023 how old is that uh, 40 63 years ago <laughs> so this will be really uh, really quite cool to actually see again and I actually suspect that the casting on this will be really clean because like I say this was one of the annual kits and I don't think it actually had too much attention afterwards in the mold processes. Uh, unlike AMT's 1944 Ford Coupe, which has been <laughs> going since 63, you know, basically. But uh, at any rate, this should be one heck of a cool kit to see. So without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to take a sneak peek at the old original instruction sheet and dream of what's coming up. So let's go down to the table and take a look at our instructions for our 60 Ford F100 pickup truck. Here we have the front page of the 1960 Ford F100 pickup by AMT, the assembly and customizing kit. So as you can see, there's actually like three versions they have here. So here's the stock pickup truck as it would come out of the Ford factory. And then we also have this sort of roadside truck with the Texco decal on there, as well as the flashing light. And then we have the custom truck, which was really popular when this model came out way back in the day. And as you can see, it's got a trailer. Now, the only pieces that I still have of this kit are like the two sidewalls of the trailer and this cross brace, or maybe the back one. And that's it. And uh, I don't really have any other pieces of this kit, but I got these instructions from a customer that came in one day with a huge box and some random parts and said, here, have this. So I was pretty fortunate in that regard. All the write-up down below here I will put into the description box down below so you can read it. Here we have our Ford motor for 1960 for the truck. I'm not too sure if this is a 292 or a 352 cubic inch engine, but it's got the tri-carbs up here as well as the valve covers and the engine block right and left hand side with all the details molded in place. We also have our cylinder heads and our exhaust hitters. And then we have our fan belt and pulley and our fan. Here we have our engine being mounted into the chassis. And you can see that it is quite an easy fit. It looks to me as if the uh, chassis has a molded on drive shaft and the engine just fits into there on the back on the transmission. Here we have our wheels and tires going together and they do say to uh, put this between two wooden blocks and then put another piece of wood on top and that would be on the rim of course and then hammer the rim into the tire. Now that seems kind of barbaric so I don't know how AMT under round two is going to handle this but this is the original and uh, here we have the little wheel axle blocks being put into the body. 
So the top hole, of course, you can lower this or have it stock at the stock right height by just putting the axle in there at the bottom hole for stock and the top one for lowered. So this would have a metal axle going through the wheels, of course, being a 1960s model. Here is panel four, and all the undercarriage components would be actually molded onto this pan. And uh, you can see that it is quite detailed, actually, even though uh, the wheels would all be going through. So here they show using the same little wooden block and then pushing the wheel with the axle in it through into the other wheel. Now, uh, before you do that, make sure that you always file the ends of the axle because usually they just take the metal wire and they take a, like big metal shears <laughs> and snip it off. No, I'm not going to cut my finger off on film. But it leaves like the raw cut edge, cut edge along there. So just filing it a little bit round will make it go into those wheel holes a lot easier and also guide it in perfectly straight. Whereas if you just leave it with the burr on the end, the burr from when you cut off the, uh, the metal rod, that little rough burr will actually push in and can make your wheel go on crooked and can severely cut inside that hole, as you can imagine. Here in panel 5 we have the interior, which is the bucket style with the bench seat molded in place. And we do have a steering wheel, a tuck, a tachometer, pardon me, floor shift, fire extinguisher, and then there are some decals for the instruments up here. Oil and ammeter gauge, rear view mirror, our dashboard, and, oh that's the fire extinguisher right there. So again, if round two releases this exactly the same way as uh, in these original instructions, this should be quite a neat little kit to build up. Here's something interesting in panel six. What we're looking at here is the floor being put into the truck body. And that makes sense actually, because AMT must have molded this as a one piece body with the cab bed in the back. This being a fleet side, it would be easier for them to mold it that way instead of having a separate box in the back and just having you put the floorboard in. We also have the firewall being glued in place in between the two fenders. Panel 7 shows the installation of the glass into the body as well as the interior, completed interior, going in place. There is a tab at the front of the interior which goes into a slot here and then you just basically maneuver the back of the interior into the tabs in the back of the truck. Panel 8 shows a lot of the detail that goes underneath the hood, like the battery, the upper radiator hose, the radiator, and the horn. Just by looking at this, let me know in the comments down below how many of you are excited to build this kit once it releases. Panel 9 shows the chassis going into the completed body with interior and glass. Now, like it shows here, the back end slides into some tabs, and then this will all push down this way. There's our front bumper. There's also a rear bumper, which is going in here. Now it does show screws going in through the four hole or two holes up here. I'm not sure if there's going to be any holes back here. Probably not because it looks like it goes through tabs. But at any rate, I'm not sure if round two is going to include screws in this or if these are going to be filled in like they did with some of the later kits. And there's like plastic posts or pegs on the other end which goes into the holes. But we'll see once this model gets released. Here we have two of our pickup trucks. Now the first one is being the factory stock version. So there's the grill and we've got our wheels with the Ford hubcaps on here as well as the instructions with the stock taillight going in on the back of the truck bed and the hood emblem in the front. Now look at the nice contours on that hood and everything. This looks like it's going to be a really fun kit. The second off, we have the service vehicle. Now, unfortunately, my instructions here are tattered quite a bit. Now, these were not originally my instructions, so like I said, they were given to me by a customer, and it looks like uh, some of these people painted on the instructions and all this other kind of crazy stuff. But this is the Texaco road service version. It's got the emergency light up top. It's also got a pushboard bumper, which I might have that part too. I'm not sure stock hubcap and then it has this custom hubcap going in the back so i don't know if that was like an option i don't know why you'd have a moon hubcap on the back of a service truck anyway look at all this cool stuff that they had in the back here so we've got a spare battery we've got a lug wrench we have a fire extinguisher bracket and the fire extinguisher itself 
gas can and an oil can and a toolbox with the opening lid. So again, this would be really cool to actually see once again. Now for all you customizing fans of good old 60s customs like our good friend Pete over there. How's it going, Pete? I'm dropping your name. All right, what we have here is a grill bar, which almost looks like a DeSoto type piece with those teeth in there. And then here we've got our custom hubcaps going in place, as well as fender skirts. There's lake pipes that shoot straight up. The tonneau cover, the spotlight down here, rear view mirror, and then, well, it says hood. I, I don't know if there's a different hood. No, I think it's the same. Anyway, we also have these custom tail lamps, which are almost sort of Cadillac-esque in a way. Again, this should be really cool to build. Look at all the decals. Now, I can imagine Round 2 is not going to re-release these kind of decals with the very uh, uh, kind of like teenager painted on flames on here. But, you know, who knows, right? I just have old instructions. I'm not really sure what the uh, finished brand new re-release is going to look like. But... I can imagine that the instructions are going to be quite different from what we're seeing here, hopefully more detailed. Also included in this kit is a trailer. Now hopefully again AMT Round 2 will re-release this as well because this really added to the kit. Now the, like I was saying the only pieces I have are the outer boards and this piece. <laughs> that was all from outside of this instruction sheet of what I have. So again, this would be cool to add into the collection. Look at this thing. So what we have is a uh, trailer frame, the right and left trailer sides. Then we have these floorboards in here and two ramps, as well as a tailgate and the license and, uh, well, taillight license plate, you know. And then here we have the front board as well as our hitch up here. And that would hook onto the hitch on the back of the truck. And then here we have our axle again, metal axle with the stock wheel. And a, you can add a custom hubcap onto there. You also have the tire with the white wall and the fenders in here and the springs. Now this would all be molded as a one piece. But again, I mean, this would be excellent to put it all together. And... Uh, you can also haul other cars on here. So let's keep our fingers crossed that when AMT re-releases this, they add in this wonderful trailer. Here we have customizing accessories that comes with the kit. Now, check this out. We got a trophy. Here, let's go from this side. So we have our engine here, and then our exhaust headers, a pin with a trailer hitch, batteries, a trophy, Cylinder heads, this would be the intake manifold. Triple carburetors, we've got lake pipes, oil and gas cans, a lens, emergency light, and a base. And then we've got our radiator, our valve covers, our custom hubcaps here, so there are four of them, that's good. Lug wrench, aerials, fan belt, tonneau cover, stock hubcaps, small fire extinguisher, side mirrors, horn, uh, skirts, and then we've got louvers here, large fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher bracket, rear view mirror, trailer lights, and license plate in here, and then we've got our horn, or I did the horn, I think. We've got our fan, custom tail lights. This is the pushboard bumper. Uh, let's drop down here. Water hose, grill bar, toolbox in two pieces. There's our tachometer. Now that's kind of interesting. It looks like the Johan style. Tack on top, hole in the middle, and the two uh, bars sticking out. One is your gear shift, and the other, I guess, is your turn signal lights. Anyway, there it is. Then we've got our gauges here and our spotlights. So as a final little bit of fun on these old kits here, they always included, like other kits that were available from AMT, Car kits are available in both hardtop and convertible models. So imagine being a kid back in 1960, if you weren't one already. <laughs> so we've got an El Camino here. Now this looks cool. Uh, Plymouth Valiant, Mercury Comet, Chevy Corvair, Chevy Apache. This would be a nice uh, complimentary one for AMT to consider re-releasing in the future. I don't know if they have the molds. Who really knows what's going on over there? except for the guys over there. We've got a Thunderbird. I guess that, again, is this would all be 1960. 
the three-in-one boat kit. Now I do believe this has come out over and over again. There's a Ford Falcon. We also have a Ford, so this would be a possibly a Galaxy. And then we've got the Mercury 32 Ford Coupe. Now I do believe this one's currently still out, or you know, it's we've seen it many times. Uh, 32 Ford Roadster, which again we've seen many times. The Edsel. This would be cool if AMT got the molds for that one again. 1960 Edsel. How many of you would like that? Here's the 60 Buick, 60 Corvette, which is coming out from round two for sure. The 40 Ford, which has been with us for generations. The Lincoln Continental, 1960. That would be a nice one. Chevrolet for 60. Chrysler Imperial for 60. Now I know there's a 59 out there. And a 60 Pontiac. So in the uh, down below in the comments, which one would you want AMT to re-release again? Or which ones? Let us know in the comment section down below. So that, that again was the El Camino, the Valiant, the Comet, the Corvair, the Apache, the Thunderbird, the Falcon, the 3-in-1 boat kit, the Ford Galaxy, the Mercury, 32 Ford Coupe, 32 Ford Roadster, 60 Edsel, 60 Buick, 60 Corvette, 40 Ford, 60 Continental, 60 Chevrolet Impala, 60 Chrysler Imperial, or the 60 Pontiac. Here's what I'd go for. The Apache, the Edsel, the Pontiac. Uh, I don't really like the Continental, but I, I would like to have one. The Buick and the Mercury and the Valiant and the Comet. Oh, I'll take them all. But let me know what down below which ones you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video where we got to take a look at our AMT 1964 Ford F100 pickup truck instructions. Now, how many of you are really excited to see this kit come out? I know I am. And again, how are you going to build this thing when it comes out? You know, I might buy a couple of these, <laughs> hopefully, I build one of each version. I like the factory one, I really like the uh, service vehicle, and of course the custom. I mean, who can resist that, especially if AMT brings out that trailer. And it'll be cool to see what kind of decals and everything Round 2 is bringing out for that. So again, I really hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at the original instructions and let's hope that it's going to be the same and hopefully they'll make the instructions a little more clear as to what's going on because there wasn't really much showing like the front grille or you know adding in the customizing pieces other than the pictures on the back. But I guess the uh, kids back in 1960 when this came out, or 62 even, were uh, you know a little more imaginative than uh, some of us now that need like step by step by step instructions, one, two, three, four, five, you know, especially like the Johan instructions where they just used to show one picture with like everything going onto it. Remember those? Uh, anyway, so again, check out our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca to see the model cars and everything else we have on there. Over 10,000 items coming up. I think I'm at 9,700 and whatever. I'm entering these on the computer behind all by myself. <laughs> Actually, I've had some help here and there on a few of them, but I'm rambling. Anyway, uh, one thing that I do hope will happen is that when this comes out, that I will be able to order them in at the hobby shop. I'm sort of in a rebuilding stage because we had to close down the brick and mortar. And then I, I still have my online website but it's not full of everything I've got. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to fill it. I'm going through the house here because we had to take everything home. I'm going through all the boxes. I'm reorganizing them. Uh, my job at the grocery store, I'm actually keeping those boxes that the bacon comes in, the cardboard boxes, because they just throw them out after we sell the bacon, right? But they're sturdy, they're durable, and they're the right shape and size. So I'm putting all my old stuff, which is everywhere in here, into those so I can stack them all up nice and neat and write on the front what's in them and all that stuff. So once I get all that finished and then put those online, then I can, well, I'm saving money as we go along here from the grocery store job and from sales online. But once all that is done, I can start ordering again. So that's what I'm looking forward to down the line. Hopefully, you know, in the next few months or so. So keep your ear 
to the road here at the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage and look for announcements of when I make it big again. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, everybody, check out our website. Join up for our newsletter. Remember, that's www.monster-hobbies.ca, and the newsletter thing is the airmail envelope along the side because I am doing a whole bunch of flyers every week, hopefully, with discount coupon codes on select items. So check those out and keep informed. And until next time, everybody, happy modeling, and here's to a good look at the future.